This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the views of the management and staff of Guardian Radio. Good morning and welcome to Guardian Radio AM. Today is Monday, Monday, December 2nd. It's a little after 11 o'clock in the morning. And once again, this is C.A. Nuri. Today, today I plan, we plan, because I have Aaron Green with me. Housekeeping. Yeah, I can do that later on. You can do housekeeping now? Yeah, no, no, no. So then we can get into the No, 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 no. Shh, 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 shh. Ready? I just want you to know that group of season closed. No, wait till wait till I finish. Ready? Today, we going to have a discussion about the Commission of Police speech. I, I want it to be a participatory um, evaluation, right? Where I'd say, what did you expect it? You call and say, did it meet what you expected? And if it didn't meet what you expected, what would you have wanted the commissioner to have said? I'm going to analyze one or two words right, of my resident uh, smart person, Aaron Green, the QC education. Group of season clothes. Yeah, I, I group her in. Don't be me. Your job is to sit. I didn't, anyway, my resident smart person, Aaron, who's going to be defining one or two words and interpreting one or two words for me. But before then, see, before then, I know Aaron had, um, was um, doing some congrat- congratulatory type thing remark earlier, and she mm. missed one or two people. So I want you to do that. So I can start my show. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Uh, so this morning I congratulated owner Mitchell Powell Bailey as she was honored among the PLP Marathon constituency stalwarts, right? And in the education s- section today, I missed that my good cousin, owner Bailey's granddaughter, Naya Seymour, is also being featured in the article, BTC launches 2024 JA program with focus on entrepreneurship. I just want to say this, this little segment of the Mitchell family is something else because uh, Naya's cousins, all Ona Bailey's grandchildren, is a part of JA. They have produced some phenomenal products like the, uh, the National History and Culture Playing Cards mm-hmm. that has a that. Monopoly style game, right? They also have at least one more, they have another style game that they were all parts of JA teams in. Creating. It's just, just one creative and super talented and driven branch of the Mitchell family. Thank you, CA. Yeah, also, pleasure. group of season close on December November 30th. December 1st. It, it, December 1st is the first close day. Okay. Yeah. Good. Don't beat me. But I got plan to beat you. This is what the conversation will be about. Okay. Um, the headline for the Guardian, the Nassau Guardian, I would encourage you to go and buy that, is a culture of corruption. I need to understand that. The reason why the Nassau Guardian used that in quotes is because our commissioner of police used that maybe three times within his speech. Also, the COP, the COP, uh, announces reforms to restore restore trust in the Royal Bahamas Police Force. First, I want to commend the Commissioner of Police for his national statement. I know there was a a debate on whether it's a statement or address, and usually address is made by the Prime Minister, but it was a statement of an update on what is happening, particularly, particularly, particularly with this case, uh, with the grand jury in the United States, where a leading police officer, also a Royal Bahamas Defense Force Petty, with Petty Chief Petty Officer, which is like a sergeant, I think, rank, uh, or a little above that, in, in, in the Royal Bahamas Defense Force, right? I, I, I'm quicken to say that the former prime minister, went to the United States and mentioned that there is corruption in the Bahamas. Um, Quicken. Remember, he mentioned it to Bahamian reporters on the sideline of an international event. Okay. Um, Quicken to say that the former um, bishop of the Anglican Church said we have a culture of corruption also. And that was like the 1980s, 19, yeah, 1980s, when they had the commissioner, commission of inquiry. Mm-hmm. So this culture of corruption seems to be sticking out his ugly head. But I want to interrogate that. 
what does culture mean, what does corruption mean, and why it is important for we as behemoths to control the narrative. Uh, and if we control the narrative, we can control our outcome, right? This is an opportunity. Right, people are all up in arms and said, "Oh, the Bahamas finish and um, pre-clearance going to go and all kind of uh, scare tactics and emotive words." But this is an uh, opportunity for we, for us in the Bahamas to correct ourselves, mm -hmm. go back on that path of going upwardly mobile. Right, so I, I'm taking it that way, an opportunity. But I want to interrogate exactly what did the commission of, uh, of police said to critique and also to praise certain parts of his address, his statement, and to question, to put out there in, into the, the listening air of, of concerns I have. So those people who have power can say, Mr. Commissioner, this didn't seemingly did not, was not interpreted properly. When you do another address, we may, may need to tweak this we may need to correct this, or we just need to go into detail. People are still confused. But again, I want to commend the commissioner, and I can tell you why I commend the commissioner. One, public speaking is not his strong point. I was intimidated for him when I see, saw him sat there, because I know he has impediments, right? We all knew he had impediments. And for him to face his anxieties and say, I, can, I have no other choice. I have to deliver the speech. It's something commendable. And, and, and it's said for young people also, it, despite being uneasy in certain circumstances, when you have roles and duties, you march forward and do it. So I want to commend him for that. And something. for setting an example for other members of the force. And then maybe we could take this into some other training so we stop hearing police officers say, yeah, I was in fear of my life, so I shoot at him. Yes. So it's, like I said, it's an opportunity. I wanted to commend him for it. Um, I see one or two policies, which I, I smiled at. I smiled at and say, that is doable, but. What is the point of it? No, well, we, we can interrogate that too when we get that far, right? What is the point of it? But let's quickly now move because I, I know I'm talking too much. I want to do that preamble. So people who are calling in know what their job is. You call to say, what did you like about it? And what would you what would have wanted the commissioner of police to have said, because it's culture of corruption, what does culture mean? Whatever your definition is. I have a definition. Go ahead. Culture is how you do things. Culture is basically where the majority of people in a particular area. The critical mass. Yes. Does consistently do things. So when he used the word culture of corruption, I assume that he means the majority. Uh -huh. See, the word was problematic for me. It said, there, I'm not sure if it's necessary a culture of corruption on the force. Right? Because culture means critical mass. Mm -hmm. Right? And then corruption. What is corruption again? Well, we, we often just use corruption and like criminality, corruption and crime interchangeably. But I think it's, it, the, it's a bit nuanced. Like corrupt is when something is not working the way that it's supposed to. And let's take that definition. Right. It's not a criminality that we are critiquing, but the force is not working or checks and balances are not working the way it's supposed to work well it is a criminality we are critiquing but we're making a distinction between what is like criminality and what is simply corruption right uh so for instance corrupt is when you go to a lot and you see that there are lines in the lot and you know that the lines indicate where the parking spaces are but you, you say to hell with it. Good. I park my car where I want. Um, I'm going to have Aaron read the article, right, so we can critique. And I have, if you need to have the entire speech to take up sections, I can send that to you. But I also want to listen to the audience to, if you need a copy of the Police Act 209, 2009, I have that too. I want you particularly to read Article 6 through 11, which give the powers of the COP. You send it to me? Yeah, I can send it to you now if you want to. I can send it to you right now, which gives the, the powers of the Commissioner of Police. So that's Pol um, Police Act 2009, and what sections are you going to read from? 6 to 11. All right. And the reason why, look at what you need, Aaron. LV. No, I changed that. Okay, good stuff. I don't know LV on my phone. I asked, have my wife ask me who LV is. She know who Aaron Green is. 
Machine on the LV. Oh, so That's 69 calls. pages, Nuri? That's why I tell you, page 6 to 11. Yeah, 69 pages, I tell you 6 to 11. No, I just, I hope my phone could. Yeah, just a new phone you just purchased. I, I'm telling you, you would be surprised. I can ask you where you purchased that from, because clearly that ain't working like how it's supposed to work. Mm. It corrupt. It, it is? <laughs> but let's go back to my point. It gives the powers of the commission of, of, of commissioner of police, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, when I compare the powers to the commissioner's speech or his statement, I don't think the commissioner is exercising his powers. He has powers that he could exercise now to address the issues now. And my critique with his statement is, it's future. I propose in the future we do this. Mm -hmm. I plan to ask this person if he can help me this way. I, I am suggesting future when the budget is read. And I'm saying, no, 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 commissioner. You're the commissioner, please. You're in a constitutional position with powers where you can direct your force. You can direct your upper, what do you call it, upper force course, or upper brass. I need to see your financials. Full stop. I, you Hold on, police off, senior police officers aren't included in the Public Disclosure Act's uh, purview of people who have to declare regularly? No, but the commissioner has powers to direct them. Remember, he suspend people if they if they have an extramarital affairs or doing all or, or domestic this. He could send you home, discipline you. He could direct them and say, "I need to see your financials. I need to pass no law." You you caused me to remember that we just had an article explaining increases in responsibility allowances. Yeah. For senior public officials, including the COP and the Commodore. Yes, that too. Extra monies. Also, um, I like to say. The commissioner of police said that he has no money, that he's going to go to the Ministry of National Security to request some more money. And I'm saying, what happened to the proceeds of crime? The millions of dollars they confiscated that is used for policing. How come he doesn't have readily access to money? They, they ain't talking to the liquidators, eh? See, something, something is wrong because I know they have the money. Mm -hmm. So now I'm asking, what is the proceeds of crime money being used for? I hope it's not just to have parties at the, the Ministry of National Security. Or at the baseball stadium. Or at the baseball stadium. Right. Um, you want to start with the article so we can read? Or you want to... Or, it's or, up to you. you. Or you okay. And um, do you want me... No, just start with the articles. Because I see the callers calling. Let me just start, set the, uh, the, the program up, caller, then I can engage you. Culture of corruption. <clears throat> COP announces reforms to restore trust in RBPF. Acknowledging a, quote, culture of corruption, close quotes, within the Royal Bahamas Police Force, Commission of Police Clayton Fernanda last night announced a, quote, framework, close quotes, to rebuild the organization, targeting failures and breaches in trust. Quote, this culture of corruption that has infiltrated the Royal Bahamas Police Force did not happen overnight, but from today, we will redouble our efforts to stamp it out, close quotes, said Fernanda in a national statement that came almost a week after the unsealing of a U.S. indictment charging three law enforcement officers and eight other Bahamians with conspiracy to import cocaine into the United States' possession and use of firearms and firearms conspiracy. It also came 38 minutes after the start time. Yes, so... I thought it was an hour and 30 minutes. It was supposed to start at 7.30. 7.30. It started at 8.30? No, it started at 8. Well, I've, I think it started at 8. ZNS was, it was liturgical dancing. Yeah. And I went to our news yes. and the commission was already speaking. Um, notice that it's like a week, almost a week for a response. So one would assume... No, speak. A comprehensive response. This is also not a comprehensive response. This is not a comprehensive no. response? We can get back to that. But um, I want to say that there are, because he had a number of time to prepare, one would assume would have assumed he would have come with a comprehensive right. if this, response. If this was the first thing he said, right, then we would all have been cool and say, okay, well, we're going to wait for the comprehensive report yes. or response. But no, it's not sufficiently comprehensive. I yield. I yield. Go ahead. All right. Uh, quote, this culture of corruption that has infiltrated the Royal Bahamas Police Force did not ho happen overnight, but from today we will redouble our efforts to stamp it out. Close quotes, said Fernanda in the national statement. Quote, dealing with police wrongdoing is complex and will require both a new legislative framework and operational changes. Hold on. What, so what framework have you all been using? What framework have you been using all of this time to deal with police wrongdoing? So, so the verbiage is problematic. This is what we're interrogating today. Continue. We continue. 
Quote, as commissioner, I believe these are the crucial steps needed to restore this institution's integrity and to rebuild the trust with the public that is so essential, close quotes. Noting that a fairer, more just society benefits everyone, Fernanda said the approach he is urging would create a system in which honesty has a chance to flourish. I like honest cops. Go ahead. And wrongdoing has no place to hide. Trust in the RBPF. Already shaky after the release of voice notes in July purporting to show corruption at the highest levels of the Criminal Investigation Department was further eroded after the indictment became public. Don't forget the Zario Major case. Mm -hmm. don't, don't forget that. The, the riddle of bullets. But go ahead. The indictment names Chief Superintendent Elvis Curtis, Officer in Division, Police Sergeant Prince Albert Simonet, who worked closely with Curtis, and Royal Bahamas Defense Force Chief Petty... Officer, we turn to page five, Darren Roca as conspirators who helped to facilitate the transshipment of tons of cocaine from South America through the Bahamas and ultimately into the United States. When you pause there, I'm sorry, a quick commentary. What mm -hmm. do you mean by work closely? You notice that he's not assigned to his division because you can say he works under him. They say he works closely. Actually, um, Simonet is SIB. You know the people who are investigating the Michael Johnson? Johnson? Okay. I'm just saying, coincidentally. And maybe he's investigating. Let's continue. Maybe it's like Matlock, you know, unsuspecting, Matlock, unsuspecting. I just, uh, I'm just saying the wording is problematic. Murder she wrote. What do you mean by work closely? Maybe she's, maybe he's murder she wrote. And yeah. Just, you know, I'm, I'm dawdling, don't mind me. He is, uh, is, is Dr. Hume, is Sherlock Humes, and what's the next person's name? And Dr. Watson? He's, he's Mrs. Dr. Watson. No, no, that's not. No. Continue, I'm sorry. Okay. No, 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 it's good stuff. Quote, this moment was not just shocking, it was devastating, close quotes, Fernanda said. Quote, it cuts to the core of the trust that the Royal Bahamas Police Force is meant to represent. You know what close did quote. that for me um, a couple of weeks ago mm -hmm. when I heard that voice note? It was shocking. Mm -hmm. It was detrimental. After it cut the, to the core of my yeah. belief for the police force. After the third time I submitted the call log of, of, of stalking calls, mm -hmm. and after the third time, I have a file. That's when it became shaky. But then when the police came to my house and said to me, but Telco has determined that the threat is, suf is not sufficient to warrant further investigation. Hmm. Let's continue to read. Plan. Mm -hmm. Right, that's a headline, subheadline in the article, Plan. Yeah. The commissioner said his plan to help restore trust in the police force is, quote, rooted in accountability, action, and transparency, close quotes. Quote, it is bold because it must be, and I'm asking for the support of the Bahamian people, the government, law enforcement, and all stakeholders to see it through, close quotes, Fernandez said. His plan includes the immediate implementation of an encrypted anonymous whistleblower platform to strengthen existing protections for whistleblowers. Remember that crime stopper? Yeah. Where it's encrypted and goes to the United States and don't have no Bahamian involved. Yeah. I thought I could have called that and, re and, re and report. They ask you for your name? No. They just give you information. Okay. Uh, but now we have something different. For me, it is, are they going to pass? Did they pass the Whistleblower Act? Has it been enacted? Because there's a whole act. There's a whole there's bill. One. Yeah. Yeah. So this is immediate. Um, I, I need to understand what immediate means. This number now. Let's see if he gave out a number. Because I understand what immediate means. Read that part where they say immediate. There's no number in this article. So it can't I be mean, immediate. no telephone number. So it can't be immediate. Yeah. Read that part again because I want to understand what His immediate means. His plan mean. includes the, impl the immediate implementation of an encrypted, anonymous whistleblower platform to strengthen existing protections for whistleblowers. Mm. Quote, it will allow officers and citizens to report wrongdoing without fear of retaliation. Corruption thrives in silence, and this platform will end that silence. Close quotes, Ferguson, uh, sorry, Fernander said. Quote, in addition, I will formally request significant increased funding from the Ministry of National Security to expand anti-corruption investigations. Remember when you said you get upset when they have police who are paid to do jobs and that we got to pay them separately? To do the job? Do, one would assume that they have a division that is investigating everybody. You know when you have a complete report for police officers the complaints and corruptions unit and that is their job to do what he's planned to do right now so now i'm concerned they, that well, if they, i go there now uh -huh. and to, to go to that complaints and corruption unit by what he suggested listen before i say the next thing let me say this mm -hmm. there are a lot of excellent officers of course on the force there are officers that use their discretion 
pride and save people from themselves. There are officers that use their discretion and protect people from other people. There are lots of good officers in the force. We're talking about systemic, right, and like administrative crises. Having said that. Let's continue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. OK. Quote, with additional resources, we can become more self-reliant in our intelligence and evidence gathering capability. So who are you relying on now? See, and they say the words are problematic. How, hold on, but how are you relying, who are you relying on? Because do they come, did you ask them, to, you told us the FBI, I don't know if they case case. Yep. Then you told us uh, the FBI, and then we assumed Interpol, but then it was the UK crime, crime agency. Crime agency, because we thought it was going to be Scotland Yard. Right, and then you all told us you zoom in. Yeah. You zoom in them. Then eventually just send the what the voice note thing. Who are you relying on now? But they have they have in, uh, they have uh, connections with Interpol, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They have partnerships, so I assume that's. What and how are they going to gather evidence if they don't ever come to the country? Continue. Are you saying? Okay. Quote. Sorry. We close quotes. Fernanda added. Quote. The introduction of body cameras has helped ensure that every police interaction is recorded and accountable. To expand that accountability, I propose we accelerate the transition from paper-based systems to a fully digital platform. This platform will track every action the force takes, creating a tamper-proof record that ensures transparency and eliminates manipulation, close quotes. See, are we talking blockchain technology where once an item is entered, you can't change that information without a record that goes through the entire system? That's called the AS400. They have that. You put that in, that don't go nowhere. I don't believe that. No, 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 no. AS400 sound like a beige computer. It's a beige it computer. It does not sound... But there's no beige computer could do what we're it, talking it, it, about. It's, it's, a, it's a... What do you call them? The big computer. It's a me mega computer. Once you put that inside it, it doesn't come out. You get a traffic ticket when you was two years old. It's still there. See, let's go back just quickly. The introduction of body cameras has helped ensure that every police interaction is recorded and accountable. How, how do we know? First of all, if we don't have... How do we know? that every officer is being held accountable for what has been recorded on those cameras. How do we know? The police will police themselves. How do we know and that we the cameras are them. on? We'll just trust them on whatever they say. The trust didn't erode itself, you know. Continue reading. I decided to tell somebody in my house, the Johnny cake did not eat itself. Mm. Quote, to expand the accountability, I propose we accelerate the transition from paper-based systems to a fully digital platform. This platform will track every action the force takes, creating a tamper-proof record that ensures transparency and eliminates manipulation, close quotes. That's why I believe you're all using the horns now. I believe you all have sirens, but it, it leaves a record of whenever you use it, and then you have to, right, you have to align the use of the siren with an actual emergency. Quote, the commission is also proposing mandatory annual integrity testing. What does that mean? Is that like an exercise thing? You run up and down? Make them do push-ups? Push-ups. And with physical assumptions. It's not a structural integrity testing. Okay. For all senior officers and mandatory financial disclosures for ranks at chief superintendent and above. Y'all do me a favor. Why don't we change the legislation and make all police officers have to disclose along with uh, politicians and senior pub, uh, service officers? Quote, any individual who has departmental responsibility should be subject to unexplained wealth orders. Close quotes. What's a wealth order? They're trying to, you know, that thing where we ask in our MPs and our senators. Oh, you mean the our, public disclosure, public declarations? But they, they tend to ignore. Yeah. He's going to try and force it with the police so they can yeah. ignore it too. See, like, we could talk about systemic corruption. Is this option, is this suggestion worthy of consideration if the similar mechanism that you have that was provided in, for in the Constitution mm -hmm. is treated like a piece of foolishness? It's, it's treated like it don't matter. I don't even plan to ask for it no more. No, I plan on asking yeah, for you it. You have time. Every single time and we will ask will for it. To ignore as it. long as there's a constituency called West, what do you call it? West Grand Bahama and Bimini? Mm -hmm. I shall ask for it. Okay. Continue reading. There we go. The commission also proposes publishing the names of shortlisted recruits in the newspaper for public feedback during a 30-day review period. I like that. There's 120 of them. 
print the name. But if they name Aaron Green, that's about 20 of y'all I know. <laughs> it does a common name. I would still be, you know, post a picture. You say, oh, that's up. But anyway, let's go. There are a couple of issues that arise with that as well. But what's more important for me is this, it, it, what is suggested is the lower ranking officers that are the problem. He did suggest that. Even though we now hear in this senior ranking police officers. But that's okay. Lower ranks go up to be senior rank eventually. I mean, unless, quote, this will allow citizens to raise concerns confidentially about an individual's character, close quotes, he said. Here's the next thing. So, I am going, I'm possibly, possibly, I could be denied entry to a force because of something that I did when I was a little, when I was a young man and my brain wasn't fully formed. Yes. And that decision could possibly be made by people who did all manner of foolishness before there was internet and, and, and Putin's internet and, and camera phone. Yes. Especially young people who are on social media, especially on, on, on um, Clint Watson Facebook. Fernanda added... Quote, for long-serving members, I am proposing that, that's the Facebook you have to use the beige computer to get to, right? Yep. It's okay. I, I was lost his. for a second. Fernanda added, quote, for long-serving members, I am proposing that the force undergo mandatory annual ethics training. What do you mean you are proposing? Proposing, he said. It's just a suggestion. That suggests that it doesn't happen. No, it doesn't happen. Y'all don't even like y'all don't even like line them up against a wall with a squad of people with tennis balls in their hand and threaten them with parking, mm. like to see if they flinch when you're asking them questions. Y'all don't even try that. I mean, after we all saw the video with the two by them who were desperately longing to see their squaddies mm -hmm. drinking beer mm -hmm. in the car, mm -hmm. y'all still didn't in uniform in the police car, and mm -hmm. the one one was drinking and driving, mm -hmm. not just the passenger. Mm -hmm. And y'all hadn't engaged in mandatory annual ethics training? Mm. And why wait 12 months? You, but the police force has ongoing training. Every, every couple of months, you see a new squad graduate from a specific training. Mm -hmm. One assumed that he had that. Quote, every officer from the most junior to the most senior will be reminded that serving the Bahamian people with integrity is not optional. It's the bare minimum. Close quotes. Let me tell you, you know how many traffic infractions police drive by every day? I just say, and how could you convince me or you on mobile patrol and your window is up? He said independent oversight channels where external body where external bodies can review misconduct reports to ensure transparency will also be created. External to the police force or external to the country? I assume external from the police force. Okay, no problem. He said, in the, okay, no, quote, no report will be swept under the rug, close quotes, Fernanda Pledge. Y'all don't have any rugs in your office, mm. so I believe you. Quote, if you are part of the problem, you will be found and dealt with. If you are not prepared to meet the standards the Bahamian people expect, this is not the force for you. Quote, unfortunately, corruption in our country goes beyond law enforcement. According to a recent IDB report, nearly three quarters of Bahamian firms admitted to paying bribes to obtain access to basic public services. This report is a damning indictment, not just of the systems we've allowed to fester, but of the culture we've let grow in our country. Close quotes. Let's pause right there so we can engage one or two of these callers. Because nobody call in show, and I know right. some people are holding. For I know. A while. I just want to say it seems like you're trying to shift this from an administrative culture within okay. government to the responsibility of the people. The um, the businesses that say that they paid bribes, did they bribe themselves? Did they bribe themselves? And did, did, did the report indicate, did they indicate why they felt the, the need? need to pay a bribe? Culture of corruption, that's why. Let's go to the callers there. I'm, I'm including you in this discussion. We can try to get you all the 30, 40 seconds each, and then we go back to reading and then anal uh, do an analysis of the um, Commission of, of Police speech. Go ahead, caller. Call, go ahead, caller. Yes, good morning, Ms. Green. Good morning, Mr. Newey. Good morning. 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 Yeah, you know, uh, uh, Mr. Newey, you give me a good laugh, and you say the phone is corrupt. I just voice a laugh when I was working, right? Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, uh, it, it's, it's a very crucial thing going on here as far as the oversight. So uh, let's say uh, incidents that happened to me personally, right? So we, we, we would have, this is the reason for the cameras. Uh, just a few quick scenarios here. Uh, in a room, 
the child is in the bed, three officers got you, you're already handcuffed. They telling you they they're threatening you and then they, they almost break my pelvis, but they could easily say the gun gone off, but I'm handcuffed. I'm handcuffed. I was handcuffed. Doesn't matter how long it happened. And he got the gun to my head, but I'm handcuffed and he's saying he's controlling and he's the boss. So what I'm saying is send the an adult person in the room and me out of the room and a female officer is there who's the bearer of children, but she didn't have the humanity in her to tell them that's not necessary. Three of them, each one of them being over 200 pounds, they almost break my pelvis. Now, subsequent injuries, et cetera, et cetera. You go to the complaint unit, you know what happened? Uh, uh, and tell me, come back the next day to make the report. He run me out of the barracks. So what they need to do is they need to remove that whole complaints to corruption unit, give it civilian oversight with people like Bishop Gomez and other reputable people who I respect in society, and then turn around and just move it off the campus to stop intimidating people. I'm not a police officer. When I go there, I go there to make a complaint. I don't have to salute and do all them different things. See, this is where they're going wrong. Our problem is the police, the, 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 the uniform they want. They, this is, you respect the law, you know. If the officer is rogue, how could you respect him? Then another thing is the reason why they need to implement cameras post haste is because my niece and her fiance who works to a, a hotel, he's, he's always changing up his cars. He has these nice new cars all the time. This is what he told me. The officers them profiling him because he's young and he always changes cars and brand new cars, etc. He's busty, flipped them. I don't know what he's doing, but that's not my business. But apparently, officers, young officers, watching him, pull him over and tell him he won't take his car. And then try to go in his go in his house and search for search for him. And he say, no, 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 you can't do that. He said, he tells them, them and he say, oh, I know your old man. He live off this way, this way. So you see, these are the type of close knit society and pettiness that we are watching. They need to get cameras on these people. How could the police tell a person they won't take their car? This, why would the young man say that? Say that. So what I'm saying is, Aaron, you are right on target as far as safety mechanisms. The police. You see all this rhetoric, rhetoric, rhetoric. I'm not calling these shows for nothing, you know. You see me, and that's what's hurtful for me. Nobody rallies around one another on the plantation. So I don't really care about nobody because ain't nobody care about me. I've called, I've talked about that. The commission all these things, you know. You know my power well, you know. I know the senior man, I'm up there. I, they, they, listen to me, nobody's interested in protecting one another. So what I'm saying is because I've said the police force is being alive itself. And tell them how it's too late. How can they solve the problem? The young men under, see, these type of uh, dubious activities, uh, let's say the, the guy, the officer who's accused of these uh, federal indictments, he is wasting any guy on the street with his hair in comb selling our bike because these young guys on the street, Gary Hughes didn't swear to uphold the law. They did. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Let's go quickly to the next caller there, producer. Go ahead, caller. Call girl once. Aaron, get ready to read again. Call a girl twice. And call us gone. You remember where you were? Yeah, we're going to start here. Uh, quote, no report will be swept under the rug. Close quotes, Fernanda pledged. Quote, if you are part of the problem, you will be found and dealt with. If you are not prepared to meet the standards the Bahamian people expect, this is not the force for you. Quote, unfortunately, corruption in our country goes beyond law enforcement. According to a recent IDB report, nearly three quarters of Bahamian firms admitted to paying bribes to obtain permits or access basic public services. Quote, this report is a damning indictment, not just of the systems we've allowed to fester, but of the culture we've let grow in our country, close quotes. Mr. Nuri, just as we go to the break, right? Mm -hmm. Has raised something for me. Uh, we are currently engaged in this conversation about the liberalization of cannabis, right? The, yeah. the legal regime in the country. I think the government needs to have an open conversation with the Bahamian people about why they are not decriminalizing cannabis for recreational use for adults. They need to have the, 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 the conversation. See, because countries didn't just legalize for a, to broaden their tax base, right? The more taxes to collect. But they did it so they would stop criminalizing, stop criminalizing their citizens, right? Based on a false science. And in this corruption conversation, if I do not hear the commission of police make a recommendation to legalize cannabis for recreational use, then they are not seriously considering the, the issue. This is all just poetics. Uh, and I, wanted, I just want to join you in saying, yeah, man, knowing that the Commission of, commission of Police has, has speech impediments, mm -hmm. he did an excellent job. He did an excellent job. Yeah. Uh, now, the person who is at it, that right. person needs to get sent home. And the person who sits with him and, and writes the speech with him, they, right. they need some work. They need some work. They yeah. need some work. They need a better editor to cut and paste better. But and they need to understand him better. Yes. And how he speaks. And so they could provide an yes. easier speech for him. Easier words. Anyway, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Call us. I see you. When I come back from the break, so all those people who are interested to do commentary on whether you're comfortable with the commission of, of police uh, statement or you want to give some recommendations, this is the time to call. Let's go take this quick break, uh, Kermit.
Here's a price list of some of the roofing material we carry at Pinda Enterprises. Five-eighth pressure-treated roofing ply, starting at thirty-six sixty-eight. Great Select Water Shield, one thirty-four twenty a roll. Felt, fifteen pounds sixteen fifty. Thirty pound nineteen eighty. Owens Corning Duration Shingles and Certain T Landmark Shingles, fifty-six fifty-six a bundle. Gallon of roof cement, thirty-three forty-seven. All sizes treated dimensional lumber, and of course we have all nails and all screws. We have five-eighth sheetrock, twenty-eight seventy-six. Half-inch sheetrock, twenty-two eighteen. All prices include that. Love the show? Want to give your support? Become a sponsor today. Call 302-2300 for our rates and packages. That's 302-2300. Become a sponsor on Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. You try to rest, but roll with the best. For all your printing needs, there ain't no one better, no. For posters and vinyls, magazines and flyers, for window decals, reading cards and newsletters. No job too big and there's no job too small. You name it, we can print it. Just give us a call. Let Print Masters bring your masterpiece to life. Located the Nassau Guardian Building, telephone 302 In every four Bahamians face some level of food insecurity. AML Foods remains committed to helping. And this year, through our Feed 5000 program, we'll donate $30,000 to provide holiday meals to families in need. But we need your help. From November 4th to December 18th, show your support and donate at the register at Solomon's, Costright, Fresh Market, Exuma Markets, or Domino's Pizza in Nassau, Grand Bahama, or Exuma. Together, let's put an end to hunger. Jump canoe! And welcome back to Guardian Radio AM. Let's go to the callers now. I know you, you're you eager to participate, so let me allow you to that some space. Go ahead, caller. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, I am going to, I am so happy that this is coming up. I think that prayers are being answered because there are many of us who are honest by what we see. But I want to give you some food for thought. I've got a couple of cases. I'm not going to discuss, I'm just going to point out things that are wrong in the system in the Bahamas. One of them has to do with Barabbas, who I feel has done a tremendous job of building a museum, of going abroad and, and, and making Junkanoo known, and his idea was stolen by somebody. And he applied for a license plate two years ago. He has two Jitney buses. He gave his project. He has not been able to get a license plate. And the project that he wanted to put on the street, another yellow bus is running up and down Bay Street with drunken tourists shaking cowbells, which was not at all what he had planned. Okay? It was cultural. But Roberts takes people to... Um, brings them to Junkanoo World. He teaches them the drum beat. We do a Junkanoo. He, he, he makes cowbells. And I think that he should be saluted. And I never hear his name come up. So, you know, why? And then when I ask why, they say politicians give license plates. Politicians own jitney buses. Isn't there a problem with that? That's the first example. Second example, our artists. Someone named Crabman, who played on Bay Street to earn his living. He was chased off Bay Street by a group of people who passed, harassed tourists every day to sell them their face products at a Bahamian restaurant downtown. And this is what they told me, so I'm not inventing it. Um, they called the police, these people. And um, they didn't call the police. They called someone who was in contact with a politician who then called the police. And they chased Crabman, who was playing Bahamian music, who represents 
the old Bahamas, they kicked him off Bay Street. Okay? And, and I was a witness to this, and I was in a rage. My accordion project, and when I say my, I don't mean that it's just me, but the former director of culture, known for being dishonest, has taken projects. One of them is the project to revise the accordion. She got a grant presenting it as her project to the LEAF Foundation. So what we'll do and is, is I'm going to invite you on the radio so we can discuss all of this. Hello? I, I, I want to invite you on, on a day to discuss all of this. So we can go back and forth and get details of your all your concerns about tourism and Bay Street. Is that okay? Is that okay? I, I'm, I didn't hear you. I need to go closer to the radio. I want to I invite want you. You have to turn down your radio. You have to turn down your radio caller. That's the problem. Turn down the radio. I'm in the back. All right. So. So I'm saying I, I will invite you to come on the show, and we'll just have a tourism on Bay Street discussion. Leave your number with the producer. So we can do that. Talk about that? Yes, yeah, okay, so we can that's have that. Fine. Okay. Um, the other incident is that one day, this happened to me. I've also seen incidences. I have been told that there are police of Haitian origin who alert when there are going to be raids. Okay. And I don't know, I know. This is what the, the, the commissioner of police is talking about in terms of having a, a housekeeping ceremony, not say a ceremony, uh, housekeeping exercise, and where he's going to have this ethic, ethics committee incorporated in the regular everyday training of police officers to address certain concerns. I know there are a number of behemoths who have voiced certain concerns like that. Some would have evidence, some without evidence. Uh, uh, and so... I, I can appreciate your point, and um, I'm prepared to have that discussion. Um, but we'll see what all the commission of, of police plans to do. But Aaron, continue reading. Um, all right, the last the portion of the article is has a subtitle, Indictment. Speaking of the indictment, Fernandez said authorities in the Bahamas only know what is outlined in it. To ensure a comprehensive understanding of how the activities outlined in the indictment began and then remained undetected, he said he has already initiated consultations with key individuals who held leadership roles during that period, including former Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis, former Minister of National Security Marvin Dames, and former Commissioner of Police Paul Roll and Anthony Ferguson. The indictment traces the alleged cocaine smuggling activities from May 2021. The Davis-led Progressive Liberal Party was elected later that year in September. These discussions aim to determine whether, oh sorry, quote, these discussions aim to determine whether any concerns or intelligence about these activities were raised during their tenures, and if so, how they were addressed, close quotes. Fernandez said, quote, I want to assure the Bahamian people that we will, of course, cooperate fully with the U.S. Department of Justice. Quote, not as yet received a request to arrest the other individuals in the indictment. So there are several individuals who are listed that it has not been arrested or asked to be arrested. Said there's been no they have yet to receive a request mm -hmm. to arrest the other individuals in the indictment. Okay. I think it's only two people who are arrested, by the way. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Quote, today... We have not as yet received a request to arrest the other individuals in the indictment. Quote, also, we have not been given the names of any additional police or government officials who may be under suspicion. And as far as I know, no one else in country has been given the names of any individual or individuals referenced in the indictment. Close quotes. So that means stop with the forwards and, and the innuendos that you know that this person... That is not what it means. What, what, what does it mean? It, it means exactly what it says. We Nobody have not has been a list. We have not been given the name. We have not been given the names of any additional police or government officials who may be under suspicion. And as far as I know, mm -hmm. see, because this is a big thing, he's trying to. He's he's telling us there's been a whole multi-nation drug smuggling operation happening, and he was unaware of it. Mm -hmm. That's why he letting us know, as far as he know. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't lead to what you say. Okay, go ahead. I mean, we should not speculate. No, man, go ahead. But we also should not forget who we are, where we are. See, this whole thing, we have more dollars than sense of self, space, time, location, belonging. Did we all of a sudden become a drug-running country? No, it's proximity. Let's go, Aaron. Proximity to what? 
the drug error, Mr. Nuri? Yes, proximity drug error. Fernando also said the investigation into reported corruption within the Criminal Investigation Department, which was headed by Chief Superintendent Michael Johnson, will be concluded before the end of the year. I just want to say that I Please. am 48, and when I was... Y'all, this is not the first time this has happened, and the idea, like the part where the commissioner says he has reached out to pe key people at that period of time, y'all know why some people say that the commissioner of police's response or his statement was woefully lacking, woefully lacking. The first thing is you don't provide any context, context that suggests you understand the environment you're waking in. Mm -hmm. You think these things happen just... In, in, in isolation, out of the blue, the Bahamas has a history for hundreds of years because of our geographic location. Mm -hmm. I like to say that the, the, the commissioner erred or missed the opportunity by not explaining where we stand in the Michael Johnson case, which is one of the issues we, we the Bahamian public, have in with the police force. Plus, you cannot say by the end of December. Plus, it's possible you all need to now explore whether that boy was also involved in any of these things over here. But here's another reason why the commissioner's presentation was woefully lacking. Mm -hmm. There's no reference to this story, 24 people arrested in street gang investigations, Hamilton say, CBC, uh, Canadian <laughs> Broadcasting Corporation, where they say that... Uh, this group has close ties to members of the, quote, Dirty South, close quote, a gang based in the greater Toronto area and a faction of, quote, one order, close quotes, in the Bahamas, said police. The police said their investigation found Dirty South members had smuggled and distributed illegal firearms from the U.S. How do you play them get in Canada? And you how, know how, how the Canadians know the Canada? names of these gang members here? How, do they go to, the, to Canada and say, oh, by the way, I'm part of a street gang in the Bahamas called... That, see, the, and these, so these are very simple things that people may, may not have been aware of, but if I'm watching the National Address and I see no reference to this Canada story, mm -hmm. then I don't know if you really seriously sitting down and thinking about what's ahead of you. Let's go quickly to these callers again. Give everyone 30 seconds. Go ahead, caller. Hey, You're speeding things up, by the way. Go ahead. Hey, Nuri. Listen, that last caller before um, she was cut off, she sounded like she was about to say something about the Haitians, right? She How said something. Society. No, right? she said, hold on, call her. She said something. It was very clear. Are you right. saying something more than what she said? I'm saying that until we collectively see that the problem is, is ourselves, meaning Bahamians, and stop blaming it on other nationalities in this country, okay? Mm -hmm. Towards social ills being done in this country. It's us. It's not the Haitians. It's not the Jamaicans, even though some do contribute. But collectively, it's more Bahamians that's the problem in this country. Until we see that, we ain't going nowhere. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Cola. Let me go read this quickly, though. Um, morning, Aaron. Uh, we are all corrupt in any way or fashion. We are all corrupt in any way or fashion. When we going through customs, wrong, lie, lie to them and hide things, that's part of corruption. Bribing the police, that's corruption. And then he goes mentioning yeah. something about Fred Mitchell. But you I know how many mind. customs officers laugh at me and tell me come off the line when I open up my bag to try to show them what's in it because I was buying a green daughter and Pat Bailey um, niece. Okay. And it was just what you're supposed to do. Say, squad is drinking rum, having guns and license to kill makes me afraid, especially when officers are in gangs. They can deny this, but it's logical. Let's get to this last caller there, Aaron. All righty. Go ahead, Cody. Can you hear me? Yeah, good day, Mr. Doreen. Good. Go, oh, want? it appears we let's, lost you, caller. Let's go quickly. We have last 30 seconds. We do everyone's 30 seconds. Go ahead, caller. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Go Hi, ahead. You have 30 seconds. Yes. Um, I just wanted to say that the problem is the illegal immigrants. Illegal the immigrants? The and flux. Crime got worse. Look at the state of their country. You think Curtis is one of them immigrants? The illegal. All right. Immigrants. Titan, mostly. You believe Curtis is an immigrant? In 2003... The uh, univer the Com uh, College of the Bahamas held a grand symposium, right? Uh, it's an anniversary symposium of the founding. There was a 
presentation by a trade guy and an economist. And he said, at that time, he talked about 50 years earlier. So we're talking about 70 years ago. Mm -hmm. He said that there was many Bahamians in Haiti as there were Haitians in the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. Right? So the, the number of Haitians, that's not the problem. Haitians been here. Plenty Haitians been here. That's not the problem. The question is... Is the, does, do the administrations understand their task? Before we go, let me just read this last text. It said, good morning, CA and Aaron. I expected the police chiefs to have a press conference. That speech was recorded and edited. A number of people made that concern. But it was a good report all the same. Um, it's worthy of critique and it's worthy of praise. We'll continue this conversation uh, tr throughout the week in terms of what should we have expected, what we want moving forward. Anyway... Group of season closed? Yes, group of season is closed. This has been Guardian Radio A of a CA Nuri. Have a wonderful day. Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, streaming on GuardianTalkRadio.com and the Guardian Radio app, Nassau, Bahamas. <laughs>